Illinois. Let's turn to the telephone. Congressman Thaddeus McCotter is in Washington, D.C. at this hour, and he joins us live on the phone right now. Congressman, what do you think? Do you think it's going to work? Is GM going to make it? I think it's going to work, Murray. I think it's going to make it. The sacrifices, people such as the UAW, the suppliers, dealers, everyone in the auto industry has done to make this possible will ensure that we get to our destination. But we also have to make sure that we remember the road ahead is hard. A lot of the sacrifices that have already been done do not necessarily mean that there won't be more in the future. Job losses that have been announced have yet to happen. Plant closures have yet to happen. It's going to be very hard, but we are going to make it. And, you know, as we talk about that, we hear that it's going to be a healthier company, but, of course, a smaller one. And you just alluded to the job losses that we haven't even seen take place yet. We're just hearing about today, especially here in Michigan. What about support for the growing unemployment crisis in this state? We have to get this economy moving, Murray. We have to try, from Michigan's perspective, to try to make what is out there that is available to us to increase the social safety net work. But the best thing that we can do at this point in time is make sure that the people who are going to lose their jobs, if things are put in place so that they are there, we have to, too, make sure that Michigan gets its act together and the national economy gets its act together so that people start buying cars to keep the people who are already going to keep their jobs in the auto industry and make GM, make Chrysler successful. If you don't move product off those lots, no car company is going to have a very good run right now. All right, Congressman Thaddeus McCotter, we thank you for joining us today on the telephone live at 11. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Mike.